Okay, here is an honest review from an average dude myself on these Ring MU6 Ring uh, headphones that don't go in your ears. Open ear, conductive uh, headphones. I call them sport headphones. You can find these on Amazon for about 50 bucks. And I've been using it for about a week in a lot of different scenarios. And I've got a pretty honest review to give on this. Now, full disclosure, the company sent me these to review. They didn't charge me anything. Now, I didn't have to buy them and then submit a review and then get paid back or anything like that. So it's pretty open-ended. Um, I told them, hey, you know, I'm just going to give it an honest and fair review. And they're like, that's cool. So, you know, I'm, I'm under no any kind of pressure to, to give some kind of fake positive review for these things. And I have to say right off the bat, they're okay, actually. Um, but, I, you know, they're not perfect. Now, I'm pretty average audio file type of person. I've got some pretty good speakers at my house. I've had nice headphones. Probably my daily drivers are just some uh, AirPod Pros uh, version 2. Those aren't even that great, to be honest with you. But I've had some Beats ones pretty good or whatever. I've had some nice headphones. And, um, you know, these leave a little bit to be desired. Let's just take a look. They're not bad, though, and I'll, I'll explain. Um, they're pretty interesting. It, it feels... It doesn't feel like the cheapest thing I've ever had in my hands, nor does it feel high quality, but they're not bad. You know, you got the little ratcheting thing here so that it can fit on your head like this. I'm sure this looks stupid on me, but I will say it's relatively comfortable and I've got a big head and it fits pretty well. So I, I do think they fit okay and it does connect really easily. It was no problem unboxing it. Although it is uh, micro USB, so it's not USB-C. So this tech's a little bit old. The problem is, and I'm going to play some music right now. Um, I've got it at full blast. Now, interesting. You really can't hear. You really can't hear it, um, which I think is pretty good. Pausing the music now. I was listening to some Nelly and my Air Force Ones. But... Um, the, the problem is it doesn't have any bass hardly at all. And the volume's a little low, like top volume's a little bit low. But what I will say is pretty good. I have done several long phone calls with this, no problem. Um, it is nice not having the earbuds in your ear. I've gone out and done some walking and it's very nice. You've got obviously full transparency for what's going on around you but it still does sound good. And frankly, the mids, the mids and the highs aren't bad. They're decent. There's just, there's no bass. Um, and the volume doesn't go up high enough. It, it needs to go up about 15, 20% more for top level volume. When you're around something a little bit more noisy, kind of hear that. But for sure, you know, if you got problems, I, where I could recommend this product, honestly, is if you've got problems with like sweaty ears or whatever trying to work out, this could be a good alternative. It's not a very high price point. And where I've also, I, I will say this, I mean, you do have a little bit of situation wearing glasses, but not too bad. It makes your ears poke a little bit maybe, but not bad. I've worn sunglasses too. So it does work with glasses. And I also find myself too, I work from home a lot and I do a lot of just web conference calls, things like that. A lot of times I'm waiting to get on a call. Maybe I'll be gaming a little bit while I'm waiting, you know, 20, 30 minutes for another online appointment to start or something like that. And gaming while having this listening to a podcast or something like that, but having my ears wide open while I'm just gaming on a TV actually worked really good. Because Sometimes I'll be listening to a podcast or something too, gaming a little bit. Actually worked great for that. Um, so here's just my honest thoughts on this particular product. Um, it's for 50 bucks, you know, it's okay. Uh, I'd say it'd be a kind of a no brainer at $29 if you were really on a budget and you wanted something and, and you wanted something a little bit more for fitness. I, I definitely would see where this would stay on really good running and things like that. Um, I didn't do any running with it, but I did do some exercise and working out. And this was great. And I do like the open ear 
style. Um, if these had a little bit more base, they wouldn't even have to be the basiest things. Just the base is poor on these. But if they had a little bit more base, a little bit higher volume, and if it was stepped up into a modern era of uh, at least USB-C and maybe a little bit better battery. Although I will say, I've used these things for about five days. And I don't know, maybe no more than three or four hours total, but I didn't even charge them when I got them out of the box and they worked right away. I just didn't even have time or think to plug them in. Still working pretty good. So I think they've got decent battery life. I would say whatever they are saying their battery life is, is probably accurate. Um, I, would, I would go with that. And, you know, I've got no problem recommending it as long as you know what you're getting. It's, it's a middle-of-the-line product, but it's pretty much priced accordingly. And, uh, yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. And I'm not being paid to do that. Obviously, I got the headphones for free, but if they, I would give my honest opinion. And honestly, I think they're decent. Anyway, hope this review helps. Please like and subscribe and do all that cool stuff. Comment. Um, I'm going to put a link in here where you can order these from Amazon if you want to. Um, they're pretty cool. and. You know, if you want me to review something else, yeah, I'll give it a review. Just know if you send me something, I get people to send me stuff from time to time. It's going to be an honest review, good, bad, or ugly. These are all right. Anyway, all right, later.